Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of body systems. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Constipation is a condition of the digestive system. A person who suffers from constipation has hard and dry waste materials that are difficult to pass out. Which of the digestive system could possibly have caused this condition and what is the reason? Now, when we talk about waste materials, we are actually referring to the food that has not been digested, which is called the undigested food. So it says here hard and dry waste materials, which means the undigested food that comes out through the anus has a lot of water or no water. You see, dry means no water, right? So why is there no water in the undigested food? What happened to all the water? Yes, most of the water or we can say too much water must have been absorbed from the undigested food. So too much water must have been absorbed from the undigested food. And where does the water absorbed from the undigested food go into? Yes, it goes into the bloodstream. Now let's think about in which organ does this process happen? Yes, it is at the large intestine. What happens in the large intestine? Excess water and mineral salts are absorbed from the undigested food. And when too much water is absorbed from the undigested food, the undigested food, which is the waste materials, becomes very dry and hard. Hence, it becomes difficult to pass out. So back to the question, which part of the digestive system could possibly have caused this condition and what is the reason? Is it because of the small intestines? Let's recall, what are the processes happening at the small intestine? Yes, digestion happens at the small intestine. In fact, most digestion happens there. And digestion is also completed at the small intestine. Now, what happens to all the food that has been digested? All the digested food is absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. So digestion happens in the small intestine. Absorption also happens in the small intestine. But is water absorbed here? No. Since we are looking for the organ that absorbs water, small intestine is not our answer. So yes, as what we have mentioned earlier, it is the large intestine where Excess water is absorbed from the undigested food. But is it because too much water is absorbed or too little water is absorbed from the undigested food? Yes, we said earlier, right? Too much water must have been absorbed from the undigested food. Hence, answer is number three. But let's also discuss what happens when too little water is absorbed from the undigested food. When too little water is absorbed from the undigested food, the undigested food, which is the waste material, becomes very watery or wet. So let's write down undigested food, which is the waste material, becomes very watery. And that's when people go through diarrhea. That's right. So do take note, when the large intestine absorbs too much water from the undigested food, our undigested food becomes very dry and we go through constipation. And when the large intestine absorbs too little water from the undigested food, our undigested food becomes very watery and we go through diarrhea. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. 
If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!